I'm pleased to announce that the Large Hadron Collider, the enormous particle accelerator in Europe, has begun operations again with twice the colliding power, smashing atoms with 15 tera electron volts. The LHC Double Down has a laundry list of science to get done, like determining the nature of dark matter, searching for particles to confirm the theory of supersymmetry, and probing the universe for extra dimensions. One of its tasks will be to search for Hawking radiation, the stream of particles that come out of black holes as they evaporate. So, in order to watch them evaporate, the LHC is going to try and create little tiny black holes. We only know of one natural process for creating black holes. The death of massive stars is supernova. Oh, and whatever it took to make supermassive black holes, but that's still pretty much a mystery. As a side note, we are going to be super massively embarrassed if it turns out they're created by species messing with forces far beyond their comprehension by doubling the power at their biggest particle accelerator and turning their region of the universe into a giant mess. Clean up, aisle Milky Way. Apparently, you can get a black hole of any size, even microscopic. If you took the mass of the Earth and compressed it down to the size of a marble, it would become a black hole. A black hole with the mass of the Earth. The only place this might have been possible was at the very beginning of the universe, shortly after the Big Bang. When the universe was unimaginably hot and dense, there were tiny fluctuations of density, nooks in space-time where tiny black holes might have formed. Maybe they just don't exist at all. The conditions of the early universe didn't bring them about. It's just a theory. A theory that the Large Hadron Collider will try to confirm or deny. The important question is, will it kill us all? Would a black hole fall out of the experiment, roll down into the sewer drain, chewing its way down into the center of the Earth, gobbling away at the core of the planet, eventually creating an Earth-massed black hole? Well, here's the good news. The less massive, the hotter it is, and the faster it evaporates. Microscopic black holes would evaporate in a fraction of a second. Any that the LHC could create would disintegrate. In fact, they should be gone in 10 to the power of minus 27 seconds. So it turns out you could put a black hole in your pocket. An Earth-massed black hole would fit nicely in your pocket. An Earth's worth of gravity, however, could prove problematic. Fortunately, there's no natural process that can create these objects, and any black holes that we could create would be gone before you could get them anywhere near a pocket. So you should probably stop thinking of it in terms of Lord Nibbler's duties. And what would you do with a pocket-sized black hole? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Alco Carlo Zotman and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. So, you should probably stop thinking of it in terms of Lord Nibbler's doodles. Duties. 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 Lord Nibbler's duties.